Hello, StarWars.com. It's James Arnold Taylor here, the host of the main stage at Star Wars Celebration with Star Wars legend, Anthony Daniels. Anthony, we just had such a great time out on stage. We did, because you... You were great. You, oh, come not on. only are you a great stage performer, but you prepared, you, you just knew you were comfortable on the stage, you are comfortable with other people on the stage. It, w it was a pleasure to share it with you. Well, thank and, you. And I hope I gave you enough. Oh, I, please. Oh, obviously, I was the star of the show. <laughs> I so yes, you I, were. I couldn't let you take everything. No, you know, that would be silly. I gave, gave you a little corner. You a little bit. I even referred to you. I smiled at you twice. You did. I did. <laughs> I even listened to one of your questions. I don't remember what, what did it was. Really? Yeah. I didn't. I didn't catch normally that. Because normally I, 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 you know, do my I own thing. I didn't notice. I just find it easier on stage by myself. But you know, if, if I was going to have somebody, it might as well be you. Cause there was nobody else available. Right. So, right. so it was cool. How was it for you? It was great. Yeah. Good. Same. Same for me. It's awkward. Okay. Uh, but you know, one thing. One yeah. of the top ten Star Wars celebration moments mm -hmm. is your visiting the fans in the rain. Oh. This made the list. You walked these queue lines, and you did it even here at this one as well. But this one time was in the rain. Can you talk about your experience in that moment? Well, so, yeah, I, I, it, it's, it's one of those things that really does always stay with you. Uh, because uh, Dan Manson had created the first um, celebration ever. And everything had been perfect. He'd created the, this thing on an, uh, an old runway. He'd, he put temporary buildings up. But a lot of it was going to be outside because the weather was perfect in Denver. Until the morning, that I, I couldn't even street, see the streets, it was raining. From my room on the, like the 10th floor, everything had disappeared in rain. Mm. I got there in the car and already the place had turned into, into a quagmire, into, it was just a, a, like a World War I battlefield. Mm. And there was nowhere for the, the fans to stand other than the rain. And it, it was tragic. I mean, you would have to be made of metal. Sorry, I was going to say made of metal. <laughs> Not to, uh, no, didn't mean that. Um, not to kind of go along with it and share share the pain, if you yeah. will. Because I would shake people's hands who were so cold, and I tried to cram as many people in the building as the fire marshals would. I mean, we were surrounded by water, and the fire marshals are saying, you can't get any more people in here. Nothing's going to burn in this. No. <laughs> now I regard it as, as uh, what's that thing, uh, Henry V, uh, uh, St. Crispin's Day, when he's only got a few soldiers and say, but people in England are going to, be ashamed that they went here and they're gonna you know remember this day in fame well and that was it and uh, that was the beginning of celebration and an example of the huge affection mm -hmm. that the fans put into all this absolutely I'm sorry it was a terribly long question but no I, it was I have quite I have very strong memories about it and occasionally people come up and they talk to me about it and it's like it's it's like meeting you know somebody from the family well, absolutely, and it's a powerful moment, and that's why we brought it up. Yeah. But now, speaking of powerful moments, we were on the stage, and you surprised all of us with a little something that you brought that uh, has not been seen since yesterday on the stages, and that is the new trailer for The Force Awakens. Thank you for doing that. It, it, Thank you for giving them the, the eruption of applause. Yeah. But then the emotion uh, is really fantastic to be sitting there with you because it was, it was emotional, so you, it was very fun. So. It, it's, it's beautiful to be able to, you know, so far over the years we've shared, you know, uh, four, five, six, one, two, three. And, and then, you know, we've had a little quiet time and now something absolutely magical is happening right. as we speak in post-production. Right. And I, I know it's magical because, you know, on the film set there are lots of screens. You see what the cameras are seeing, right. like, like the screen behind us. Sure. So you can look at people's performances like days and think, Gosh, that's good. And yeah. it's not even cut together, you know? Yeah. And you see BB-8, and you see Harris, and, and you know, and, and Chewie, and all that, and Princess. And, um, I think it's, actors always BS about the shows they're in, don't they? Sure. You know, so I, I love oh, the script. As soon as I read the script, I, I got to do this. I ran my agents, I, you know, I, I got to be in this. You know? And the director, what a, he's a genius. I, yes. I love working, I've always wanted to work with him. Um, but your experience here, it was the best. <laughs> it was great to, to be able to share that trailer yeah. with uh, three or four thousand people in the yeah, room. About four thousand. Uh, I, 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 yeah, yeah. I, I got halfway stopped counting. Kind of. uh, <laughs> I think you were talking quick. at the time you into it. Yeah. I interrupted. I, I'm I, sorry. I that was me. I uh, was but me. to to sense the reaction, to feel, and and of course the sound system here. Is, I, I'm not shaking too bad. that. Was, it, yeah. yeah, getting the tummy around with it. <laughs> so it was it was lovely to bring that present to the floor because it was totally Thank unexpected. You. Thank you. And now another thing, we talked a bit about this out there. There are a lot of great collectibles on sale here. Uh, do you have one single favorite C-3PO collectible over all the years? A uh, favorite? Well, f funnily enough, I think I might have just 
got it because I did a panel with the uh, the guys who do uh, the Lego um, yes. uh, uh, the All the toys and the Lego films, mm -hmm. um, the uh, the Yoda Chronicles, which are hysterical, and uh, now Droid Tales, Droid which Tales. Are com coming out very soon. So there I am, and I actually gave them uh, a little um, a, a little one of one of those, one little one of those, and. Uh, because I think the Lego things are so charming. Yeah. And so I gave one to each of the, the, the panelists. And then we were saying goodbye and we went, wait a minute. And they came out with oh, a, a 3 p.m. made like that. It absolutely amazed me. That's yes. going in the luggage, that's going home. <laughs> and that's probably going to be the one thing in, in our home in London that is Star Wars, because there is nothing else there. Really? But that was so charming. That's so. a good one. That, yeah. And the Lego folks, it's brilliant yeah. what they do. But but. Not quite as well, almost as brilliant as your shoe. My <laughs> shoe. Oh, did now I had a. Uh, Star can Wars can we get a? Get, here get, 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 there's may, different may shots. I, may I help? Oh please. Um, well, oh, it's look at that. It's you. It's me <laughs> on your foot. What on my uh, foot. That's so cute. Yes, I had to have a splash of color there, mm -hmm. <laughs> just for you though, my friend. And lastly, we got such a great reaction there, and I know. It, it truly is a cliche to say, but it never gets old seeing that. But is there anything that you would want to say to all the fans that are watching on StarWars.com? Well, there's a lot of people, you know, weren't able to get here for various reasons. You know, uh, you know, flights are expensive. It's a long way. Jet lag, the killer. Oh yes. Uh, may, you know, maybe you couldn't get the time off work or whatever. But uh, I think beyond any other uh, franchise, if you will call it that. You know, there's lots of good stuff out there. You know, the Harry Potter things, the uh, Lord of the Rings things, all, all, all the, um, what's that other show? Star oh, Trek. Star know, Trek, yeah. oh yeah, no, we don't talk about it. JJ's not here. No, no, it's okay. Um, there's a lot of stuff out there, but I, I, I genuinely believe that Star Wars is something quite extraordinary, different around the world, that there is this great feeling of coming together. and. I, I know you guys would have loved to have been here, but actually, hopefully, with the, with the power of, of digital and you know this e stuff in the East streaming, yeah, streaming, that you you did feel a part of it, because I know backstage we've all been very conscious that there are, are remote sites, if you will, that have been participating and hopefully cheering at your little screens like this and really feeling a part of it because. There is something about the family of Star Wars, and, the, and it has grown. Remember, I've been here right from the beginning, and boy, do I feel it. And coming to this celebration with the pending thing of Episode 7, yeah. we've all got a, a new start, a new platform to jump off into the future. And as I said yesterday, I do know you will be there. I hope I will. Indeed, you will be, and the future of Star Wars is bright. And we thank you for being such a bright light in it, Anthony. Pleasure. That's a very nice thing to say. Thank yeah. you. Absolutely. Yeah. Enthusiasm for Star Wars that you see at Celebration, does it ever surprise you? Is there anything that surprises you at this? Yes, that, that, that so many people seem to get so much out of it. 